everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I picked up from Kylie Cosmetics. So if you would like to know which lip kits and what glosses I picked up, then make sure to keep on watching this video to find out. And I'm also going to be including swatches on my hands so you guys can see what they look like. But depending on the feedback of this video, I am going to be doing a lip swatching video with all of the stuff that I brought. So like everyone else who brought her lip kits, you get this little card which has a handwritten note from Kylie but it's kind of just photocopied on there but it looks pretty legit I must say and honestly I love the packaging of Kylie Cosmetics stuff I think it's to die for I think it's so cute and I really love this symbol although I didn't realize the teeth are like silver when they got to me I was like oh I thought they were like white but turns out they're silver just before I tell you guys what I picked up, I ordered about two and a half weeks ago, so it took two and a half weeks to process and ship to me. The first thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about are her glosses. So me and my sister picked up these two. We have the Kylie Lip Gloss in Literally, and then we also have it in So Cute. When we ordered, they had only brought out the three glosses, like Literally and So Cute. But I only got my hands on the two lighter shades. So I just thought I'd pick up these two glosses. So So Cute is really, really light. And then Literally is just kind of a medium brownish color. They all have like this specific scent. Like all of the lip kits and all of the glosses, they are this kind of scent. I don't mind it, but it is very powerful when you put it on. But I'm wearing one of the lip kits right now. And I can't smell it at all. So it's just kind of when you initially put it on. Then I picked up six of her lip kits. Which and these are all the colors that I got, so I'll go into them individually now. So I'm going to start off with the lip kit that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is in the color Dolce K. It's quite a dark brown. I was expecting it to be more of a nude. And like I'm thinking, this is really brown. I wonder what the true brown color would look like. I have nothing to fault these lip products on. They are so amazing. No, they don't dry on my lips. The lip liner is extremely pigmented and creamy, and this is so nice. It dries in about maybe 10 to 15 seconds at the most 30 but you'd be pushing it then so I have nothing like this in my collection just because I never really wear dark browns but now that I have this I'm like obsessed with dark brown lipsticks so I'm extremely happy that I brought this one because I actually really like it with a lot of different makeup looks it really changes the makeup game for me you feel then next up we have Candy K I have tried I think all of these on my lips and I like every single colour except for Exposed. I feel like that one looks a bit weird on me. But you'll see when I upload the swatches video that that one doesn't really suit me. But, you know, you live and you learn and you're probably just going to try it out with different makeup looks and hope for the best, to be honest. This is what Candy K looks like. It's definitely a muted pink nude colour. Absolutely beautiful. I have, I think, a few similar colours to this in my collection. But this has got to be the best one by far. has that overpowering vanilla smell, but... I enjoy it and all of the lip liners and all of the like matte lipsticks have like the same texture and they do kind of sink into your creases in your lips so just make sure to put a little bit of moisturizer on there so they sit better. I don't find them to be drying at all on my lips personally but again that could change for you if you buy it you might find that it's crappy. I don't find that they are patchy at all I know that some people have complained about that but mine go on perfectly smooth and very very pigmented. So next up we have Exposed which is the one that I said that I'm not too keen on just because it is more like of an orangey nude kind of thing. The thing that I love about this is that they sell the lip liner and the actual matte lipstick together so that you can have the exact same color lip line because I know when I use different lip liners and different lipsticks sometimes they don't match perfectly and you can definitely tell the difference between the lip liner and the lipstick. Honestly the packaging gets me every single time. She did such a good job on this whole entire range and it's so popular. But the only thing I hate about it is it is very, very expensive. It's like $29 a kit, which equals about $40 Australian. And I'm just like, ugh. The next lip kit I have to show you is Mary Jo K. I feel like the packaging looks a lot more pinky red, but it's definitely more of a true red. I got this one because I love wearing red lipstick. And the one that I like wearing is Ruby Woo. And this looks so, so similar. And a red lip liner because the one I got from Essence wasn't red so now it's my first actual deep red and I can wear this with Ruby Woo to stop lipsticks from bleeding and also to make the line look a lot more finer. Definitely is more of a cool tone red so it doesn't make your teeth look yellow or anything. If anything it brings out the white in your teeth which is obviously what you want. You don't want to look like you have yellow teeth so this is perfect. The second last lip kit I got is Posy K. This is definitely a lot more purpley than the swatches that I've seen online. I definitely did a lot of searching around for swatches 
on the page and also on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. Absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. It also brings out the green in my eyes. It's not my favorite color that I picked up, but it's definitely up there in the colors that I love. And last but not least, we have Coco K, which is another one of my favorites. It's absolutely gorgeous. Such a pretty pink nude. This is what it looks like. I'm obsessed. It is definitely more of like a muted pinky purple, but honestly, can't wait to wear this. So thank you guys so, so much for watching what I picked up from Kylie Cosmetics. If you are interested in watching the swatch video that I will have up very, very soon, then definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up or let me know down below so I can see if you guys are interested in seeing these swatched on my lips and also what they look like on fair skin. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!